Hey, how you guys doing? Hey, I just wanted to go over the uh, the composition of the uh, the uh, school board, the city commission, and the county commission here in uh, in Lawrence and in, in Douglas County, in terms of the the political side that uh, all these elected officials, uh, for the most part, land on. Maybe you can start to see see a pattern here as we go through this list. All right, so over here on the school board, we got. Carol Cadu Blackwell, Democrat. Kay Emerson, Democrat. Erica Hill, Democrat. Kelly Jones, Democrat. Shannon Kimball, Democrat. Gordon Ross, Democrat. Paula Smith, Democrat. Over on the city commission, you got Bart Littlejohn, Democrat. Lisa Larson, Democrat. Mayor Courtney Shipley, Democrat. Amber Sellers, Democrat. Brad Finkeldye, uh, he's a rhino man. He, he, I guess he calls himself a Republican, but he's a rhino man. And you know, as far as I'm concerned, he's a Democrat man. He 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 doesn't represent anything that Republicans do. He he never votes for us. He always votes along the lines of the other commissioners, which are Democrats. He never opposes anything. He's he's with them lockstep on on every issue for the most part. Over on the county commission, you got Patrick Kelly, Democrat, Shannon Reed, Democrat. And Shannon Portillo, Democrat. Now Shannon, you know, recently resigned from the from the commission, you know, less than halfway through her four year term to to leave for Arizona State for a higher uh, higher paying and more prestigious job in academia. So she's gone, but she is replaced by Democrat uh, Karen Wiley. Now I don't know about you guys. Do you guys see a pattern in that? You know, it's all Democrats around here, and. Uh, there's a lot of issues with that, you know. We talk about the the property taxes. E each one of these, uh, the board and the two commissions, all in the last couple of weeks, all voted to raise property taxes uh, around here, and the uh, city commissioners voted to increase utility rates uh, over the next three years. And uh, you know that that's just you know <laughs> that's just incompetence right there. I mean, we got you know inflation's at a, a 40 year high right now. Uh, we got a recession going on. You know, gas prices are are really high right now, and they and they are going up as as we speak. So you got a bunch of Democrats that are uh, you know raising taxes at, at the worst possible time imaginable, and there wasn't a single person on on, on the board, on the school board, or any of those commissions that uh, that opposed that. They all voted unanimously to to raise your taxes, and it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. You talk about just mismanagement and incompetence. And um, you know, just just stupidity, you know, just stupidity. But you know, another issue with that is that when you got all of these people, all these elected officials occupying all these spots, and they all represent the same thing in terms of being Democrats, there's no debate whatsoever. You know, there's no debate of these issues, and so what, what that. What that creates by not being able being able to debate anything is it, it doesn't generate any new ideas. You know, I've always said you know since they're all Democrats, you might as well just have one person on the school board who's a Democrat, one person on the city commission who's a Democrat, one person on the county commission who's a Democrat, because they all think the same. Man, it's it's a it's a hive mind. They're 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 not debating things. They're not coming up with any new ideas, and, and that's not good for that's not good for the city. It's not good for the county. It's not good for the school district. In fact, I mean, we see with the school district, you know, they they're running that thing into the ground, you know, financially. You know, they they you know spent last year talking about how how they're going to close a whole bunch of schools and and uh, all they did is postpone that that till uh, till a later late, a later date. They'll probably pick it up here in the next uh, you know here re here real soon. They'll be talking about closing schools again because they didn't fix anything. But if you're not debating things and you're not generating new ideas, you know what, what what's the point? If you ain't got somebody on there that's opposing any of this th any of this stuff and it's all unanimous across the board, you know that that's not good for the that's not good for the city and the county. And part of, you know part of the reason that that's like that is because you know they're 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 fearful. You know what I mean? They're they're fearful that if they were to uh, swim against the stream or, or stand out from, from the crowd or you know, stand out from their other uh, elected officials up there on the board, they're, they're fearful that, you know, A, that the board will view them as anything but Democrat. You know, heaven forbid they might view them as, as conservatives just by opposing something or asking a question or trying to generate a new idea. But also they're fearful that they're going to lose their position up there in, in those uh, 
you know, those elected positions that they're, they're, they're going to get voted out. Uh, and that's kind of the men mentality around here in Lawrence is that, you know, you have to be a liberal in order to get up there. And if, and if you, if you deviate at all, even the slightest bit from the liberal narrative, you know, you run the risk of, of being voted out. And, 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 you know, that's, that's what you get, man. It, 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 that's what you get if you, uh, you know, Lawrence as a community, um, if you want the, uh, nothing but Democrats in there, you're going to see your taxes go up. You're going to see a whole bunch of woke bullshit. You're going to see what happened over the last couple of years with COVID, with, with the non-essential businesses and churches being shut down. It's what you're going to get with the child mass mandates. It's what you're going to get with the countywide mass mandates where you can't decide for you or your family on, you know, for your kids if you want them to wear masks or not. People like Patrick Kelly and Shannon Reed and Shannon Portillo, they don't even have kids got to decide for you that your kids had to wear masks beginning at two years old. And so that's what you get is you look at the list of all these elected officials here and they're all Democrats. So let's, let's try to, you know, let's try to change that. Let's put somebody up there that thinks differently than all of them and isn't afraid to call out the bullshit and isn't afraid to say, hey, I got this idea. It's different than what you guys are, what you guys are coming up with here which is just the same idea, all you guys coming up with the same idea and just agreeing on it, why not change that? What, why, why not put somebody up there that can, you know, you know, change the status quo a little bit, buck the system a little bit and, and generate some new ideas and, and see if we can't change things around here. Um, but anyways, hey, I appreciate you guys checking out my video. Make sure you, uh, you, you like and you subscribe to, to my channel here and, and leave some comments here. I'd like to know your thoughts on this as well. We'll talk to you guys later.